What up, people? Welcome back to another installment of The Reality of Season 16. Yeah, I know by the time y'all are seeing this, it's probably about what? Like 20, if not 25 days? Shit, maybe 30 days into the season, but at the time of this recording, um, we're like maybe a week or so in. So deal with it. Now, we are on good old Mirren. And to my surprise, Mirren now appears in the first encounter slot on the uh, map selection screen. You know, where you go to select your maps and, you know, queue up. Yeah. So this map is now appearing in the first slot. Which is cool. I mean, it is a relatively new map. So, um, I guess the devs want people to experience it. And hey, wait a minute. There's a body bag. That shit crazy. And someone's coming. Well, that worked. And he had a VZ58P. And I'm going to destroy that. And there we go. In case you didn't know, the main reason why I destroy weapons is because I don't want anybody coming behind me and or from some random direction who is unarmed to pick up the gun and now they're armed. In other words, I don't want to get shot in the back due to my own negligence. I hope that makes sense. I hope it does. But yeah, I've learned a couple more things about this here map. And I could sit here and explain them all to you here. But I kind of, you know, I streamed this map. Like today. Just scroll down and you'll see the record date. Or recorded on date, rather. So, um, yeah, just go to the second channel and you'll find that, that exact stream where I talk about this map. Speaking of this map, the container's right there. And I'm not getting shot at. Which means no one's nearby, which is cap, because I just got ported. Okay, now the anxiety starts to build. Because I got ported, which means someone, or well, I'm, I'm the closest person to someone. But where is that someone? I have no idea. And I could be running straight into him. Again, I have no idea. And my anxiety is only... Uh, increase by double basically because I'm near the container and we all know how players love guns but don't really care about loot so what can I do in this situation well run honestly I mean I'm I, I, I have no idea where dude is at but there's a conversation right here and I'm going to use that you know what I'm saying Go ahead and put radiation. Oh, shit. I messed up. You can tell I'm stressed. You can tell because y'all know I always go for radiation first. But in that case, I put overweight. Which sucks. Okay. And also, this map, uh, where stuff is on it right now, it's real dangerous. Everything's kinda in a circle. Yeah, we. I, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. But you know, as long as I keep going, I should be okay. As long as I keep... Oh, shit, I got ported again. Welp. I guess I gotta turn around. And in hindsight, I wish I didn't go back the way that I came. Because, to all intents and purposes... Oh, there's a person right there. Okay, cool. Listen, y'all don't gotta believe me, because I'm gonna show you. I'm in danger. Wait for it. Right there. And people, why is he right there? Why is he right there? 
Well, you just saw the reason why he's right there. I killed somebody. And because I didn't use a suppressed weapon, he heard the gunshots and he said to himself, Oh, the guy that I was porting and trying to kill? That's him. Well, I guess I'm going to walk over there and kill him now. Yeah. That's why he's there. Simultaneously, this is also the reason why I'm behind this rock. Because, you see, in Vigor, it is not about who shoots first. It's who sees who first. But Jet, obviously you saw him first. Uh, no, no I didn't. How much you want to bet I only saw him just because I turned around to see him. He was probably chasing me, um, ever since I first fired. And you can't look behind you and shoot in front of you at the same time. So dude was probably watching me kill this guy and waiting for his time to strike. But when I got up from, got up from being prone and moved, he said to himself, well... This is not going to be an easy kill. And credit where credit is due, this guy's playing good. Because I'm, I'm just relocating, trying to get eyes on him. You know what I'm saying? And I can't seem to find him. But there's a saying in war. There's a saying. If you can't find your enemy, they're probably behind you. And if you're expecting me to like stop talking and, and I turn around, he's behind me. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but fortunately, that doesn't happen. But once again, what can I do? Movement is your best friend in this game. As long as you move, you're alive. If you stop, you're dead. Quite that simple. If you camp, you're dead. If you're on one knee, if you're on one knee, it better be to aim at somebody or to check your map. And even if it is to check your map, it better be quick. It better be one second. And I was thinking about going for the detector. I was thinking about it. But instead, I'm going to use the contact bombs that I looted off this one guy. And I'm going to make this a dead giveaway of someone's at the detector. Yes, I know. The bombs themselves are obvious. You'll be an idiot to run straight into all three of those bombs. You'll be a severe idiot. They have a green light on them on brown dirt. You'll be an idiot. I get it. But how do you defuse um, contact bombs? You shoot them. And even if you use a suppressed weapon, the bomb still goes boom. So think of that as an advanced warning that someone's going to use a detector. You know? So I think that was a pretty good play. That's what I think. It may not get him killed. Probably actually pause. It will not get him killed. But it'll make him think twice about doing about doing what his next move is. Alright. The final stage of the match. Here comes the airdrop. Okay. Cool. And I get ported a freaking gun. People, what could I do in that scenario? I had one person to the left and to the right of me. And someone had a port. Now, in hindsight, I could have just not fired. In hindsight. But imagine getting ported three times in a match and seeing two different guys on the other side of you that don't see each other. You're going to assume one of them's hunting you down. You're going to assume that. And don't worry. We are, in fact, going to see this guy's stats. We are. 
And all I'm going to say is, brace yourself. Okay, sure. 2000 experience. I mean, not bad. Not bad at all. That's his stats. Yeah. I said this once on stream, and I'm pretty sure it's going to stick. Season 16 is a season of a full auto bugle. Now, I might be wrong because this season is still relatively new at the time of this recording, and maybe it might die down as time goes on, but I don't know. It's been like this for about two and a half weeks. Until next time, peace.